Hello and welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Requiem 3 BF Tweaks. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Diaries of Death a series where we're following Patrick the Monk, a kind soul who has unfortunately been drawn into the harsh reality of the civil war within Skyrim. And uh, today's episode is going to be interesting because we do one of uh, the quests that has been recently added with, I think, the special edition. Um, it is called uh, Restoring Order and it has a lot of backdrops to uh, Oblivion. You it's going to be a quite dirty job because we're going into the sewers, but someone has to do it. And that's us today. So, we found ourselves away directly into the sewers. Luckily, we're buffed up. That's the exit, I suppose. Lots of plants that are not native to Skyrim. They are only doing moderate damage. I've never done this quest in Requiem. But I'm curious to use all of these here as alchemical alch items. Granted that there is only one place to harvest them, which is here, I would be expecting that they are quite powerful in what they're, in what they're doing. Spriggans. I don't like it at all. Luckily, we do have fire damage. I have enchanted and re upped our fist weapons. I think we need number one. A bit of that and number two gradual restoration of stamina These guys seem to be tame. So far, all they do is approach us. Very limited damage. I'm not sure how, how or if F Tweaks has even revisited this year. Potentially they did at some point. This year is Fantastic for alchemy, oh boy. Wonderful. We still can't bash uh, open locks because the mechanic for that only works with rear weapons, apparently. Good. 
back to my harvest uh, journey. We are going to get a lot out of this here. They don't even have a ranged attack. I'm not 100% sure if these are really balanced enemies. They do give regular potions, so uh, they are they are supposedly hard. But compared to, let's say, an equal level bandit who would give that, maybe I'm missing something. Interesting, I've never seen a golden bow. Couple of golden arrows. Should have potentially come here. And a golden ba uh, battle axe. Should have potentially come here with uh, Joffrey de Lourg. Uh, mm. Right, this looks like uh, someone is doing a magical ritual, so out of good cautions, let's just apply our resist here. Okay, well, it turned from no problem at all to it's a massive problem. Use our only surpassing potion. Ooh. We used our only surpassing potion. I wasn't sure how difficult that quest would be. That could have been like a the typical end of a good run. Dark seduces archer. Golden Saint Archer, volume, there we go, that's how he uh, continued to blast us. Nice helmet. So we're a little bit overloaded. I still want to understand what that ring is doing. Um, in terms of preparation for the fight, mid-fight um, transmute muscles ran off. So that was really suboptimal. Sort of Jigalak. Is that a two-hander? Well, it's not a bad sword. Just we're not using two-handers. Plenty of loot, actually. Like, this here is great. So what does the the ring do? <laughs> okay. 
ring of disrobing. I see. So what it does effectively is it removes your rope and your ring slot. Not sure if that's supposed to be a cursed item or something. Yeah, I see. So the pet is effectively just your carry extension. Greater Soul Gem, Conjuration. That one is valuable. So we have plenty of new resources. I think we're going to disenchant that one. And we're good. Okay, well from a alchemistical standpoint this year absolutely was a fantastic journey. From a resource standpoint we lost a lot of our better potions. So that unfortunately was not as successful. I want to take the rest uh, of all of the items with me here. I think that pretty much concludes this dungeon. The end fight was interesting, I've never done that. And surprisingly close. Uh, we don't have enough stamina. I see what the problem is. We ran out of out of the drunk uh, drunk status. The moment that that happens, you're continuously losing all of your stamina and your magicka. Cool. So that was an interesting side uh, gig. Decently difficult. I like the armor. We'll think about using that maybe on a different character much earlier to get that dark armor as a super light alternative. And we're going to store all of um, all of uh, these items. 
with our current items. Cool. Next up, we're going to reunify uh, Skyrim, but before we do that, I definitely need to offload all of the alchemical items and see what exactly they are doing. If we just are riding towards the fort and I have aggroed a dragon. That's not the best way of doing it. Oh, there's a storm astronaut. Yep, not want to deal with that one either. Yeah, dragons can be quite tricky. Uh, they might even follow you around for a longer period of time. We are not yet in the condition to fight one. Realistically, it will tear us apart. I'll keep you updated if something happens. Okay, we are finding ourselves next to Fort of All. And... I'll put my microphone a bit closer. So, we are... Finding ourselves next to Fort Amol. And it's time to assault it. We're fully buffed, ready to go. It's a bit unfortunate because we're not seeing any locations uh, thanks to the still ongoing dragon. But wouldn't it be awesome if the dragon just joins us in this battle? Nasty hit. Trying to finish the ones that are on the ground. Potentially shouldn't be sitting in the corner here. You never want to be cornered. So from a pure experience perspective, this is awesome. We're getting a lot of experience, but I equally dread the moment when we're getting dropped upon. The random... Uh, the random two-hander that shows up behind us and just drops us. Oh yeah, there we go. That was the random two-hander. I, luckily, I spotted him out twice. Holy shit. This guy hates my guts. Well, matter of fact, it seems that all of them do. Okay, time for a tactical retreat. Close. Good moment in time to refresh our buffs.
were moved outside the courtyard. And we're back to kiting all of them. problem is always our reaction not my personal reaction but the reaction that the game offers with unarmored weapons is slow continue to click it but it is actually much much uh, slower than a normal one-handed weapon I clicked three times just to get this guy down. All right, let's clean up a couple of archers up here. I think we got it, although it was yet again Quite close and costly. We were almost done uh, with evasion to 50. There we go. So that worked well. Anything else we want to get up? I think enchanting would be the next natural one. We have quite a few potential enchantments, and 50 is a good breakpoint for enchanting. As for our greater essences, still 75 dexterity is the way to go, I feel. So that's a long, long road ahead. Continuing to go a bit with help and uh, magicka at the same time. That theme worked well. Five more points and we can get Brawl uh, Boxing Focus 3 as well as Akimbo Power Attacks, which hopefully would help us further uh, to actually get better Power Attacks off. In terms of Alteration, I think we got everything as far as we can skill it at the moment. Yeah, 75 would be the next big thing. Recharging soul uh, gems would be good. All crafted enchantments 15% stronger. That's definitely good. Uh, that would also not be bad. I think both. Uh, well, I could go into enchanting. But we first wanted to do evasion. Immunity to kill moves is super helpful. And the reduction in power attacks might also be helpful. So just double checking. That's a, de that's a decent one, two, three. Well, still costs uh, quite a lot, but it's decent compared to what it uh, used to be before. Outside of the combat, it always works well, but inside of uh, combat, 
I feel that there is a huge delay on your primary attack. Anyways, we got a lot of experience here. Got the fortress and I think it's back to reporting. Time for the final battle of Windhelm. In time for Patrick to get his revenge on the man who ordered the slaughter of his clan. Oh yeah. I like how the buck is just standing there and no one takes any offense in it. already we just need a refill of our weapon all right off we go Okay, so the way that I want to play this is not the ultra safe way of letting them handle it. I want Patrick to be in the front line, even if that means we're putting ourselves at risk. That was a mistake to pick out uh, pick out the bow. That was a mistake to run into a charged power attack. But I couldn't stop fast enough. So one of the problems here will be we find ourselves in a corner like we're currently doing. We might end up not being able to retreat. Like this here is a cluster F. Specifically if these guys are spawning in behind us. There isn't so much you can do about it. But yeah, like I said, we I don't want uh, to make this here an easy fight. It's supposed to be the last battle. Some enemies spawning right behind us. Okay. Now hopefully that has concluded the spawning behind us. Okay, so far we're doing fine. 
Yeah, can't go alone into uh, into the enemy fray. And more are spawning, okay. Shit, I'm blocked. Okay. Ooh. And I'm continuously blocked. Need to re rebuff soon. Do I still have that staff of fireball? No. Rebuffing. Stormcloak, you are guilty of insurrection, murder of imperial citizens, the assassination of King Torek, and high treason against the Empire. It's over. Not while I'm still breathing, it's not. Okay, so? Yes, make it quick. I'm a busy man. Ha! <laughs> brother. They'll keep you. Killing you. All right, we got a real fight at our hands. This guy here is strong. Nice. Of course, he took a superior potion. No! <laughs> oh no! I dodged to the side, but the table was in the way. Uh, should have focused on him to begin with. The irony, so close to uh, revenge. Well, but it's a fun end for uh, for that run. Uh, yep, Patrick has uh, been a fun build the whole unarmed uh, definitely is a is a surprisingly decent build with sanguine and the brawls early up you immediately reach a relatively high power spike so uh, originally the sanguine um, a blessing scaled with food eaten and you needed to eat like 3000 food but apparently that was too abusable or uh, too easy to do i still think the brawls if you know where they are and i've showed them here are also equally easy to complete it it makes sense but you're just getting too much of a scaling at the beginning like 230 per hit is crazy a couple of um, just observations the build would potentially work relatively well if you pair it with heavy armor and then just have way more survivability you could do unarmored heavy armor warrior and that would potentially be a, pre a pretty decent build to begin with just with those two skills and you can basically flex in whatever you want uh, on the upside the build is not very uh, perk hungry so unarmed you could almost like splice that into something else but then again the majority of uh, the power came from our uh, 
Daedric blessing. And I'm not sure if you would want to do Sanguine, uh, if you would want to quote unquote waste your Daedric blessing on that if you're not uh, a dedicated, um, a dedicated unarmed uh, build. But I could see the build work. Patrick unfortunately didn't get his revenge. Uh, the High King and turned out to be a bit uh, too much for him. Uh, matter of fact, he got one shot by a power attack, although we had all of our buffs up. So, yep, that shows you that the High King, uh, or the soon-to-be High King, uh, is uh, quite strong. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed uh, this. Uh, it means we need an update to our scores. Uh, because now the second character died uh, but I'll come up with another build and a new run thanks for watching guys and uh, see you later on the channel bye bye